How did the universe begin? Does time have a beginning and an end? Does space have edges? What is the nature of the elusive dark energy and dark matter? What are black holes and space-time singularities? What can gravitational waves tell us? These are questions full of human curiosity. But the answers have always seemed beyond the reach of science. The Center for Gravitational Cosmology at Yangzhou University was founded in 2017. And we strive to tackle the most fundamental and frontier in the study of gravitation and cosmology. To push forward the research and also to increase the standing in the field, we have collaborated with international collaborators and domestic collaborators. Now our center has three main directions, including 21 centimeter cosmology, space gravitational wave detection, and also analog gravity, collecting different data from astronomical observations can help us to understand better on the nature of gravity and cosmology. Black holes are regions of space-time with gravitational fields so strong that even light cannot escape. Sir Roger Penrose showed that a complete gravitational collapse must result in a space-time singularity. However, the nature of a singularity or whether it can be corrected by quantum gravity remains unknown. Some quantum gravity models predict corrections near the black hole surface, the so-called event horizon. If so, gravitational wave signatures produced by collision of black holes, as well as direct images from so-called black hole shadows, could provide us new hints to this new physics. In our center, we are studying the theoretical aspects of gravitational waves, black hole shadows, as well as quantum aspects of black holes, such as Hawking radiation. The apparent order of our universe enables us to understand the mechanism that underlies it. But recent data suggests that our universe is expanding in an accelerated way, with profound implications on its laws and compositions that leaves around 95% of the universe completely unknown. We can obtain information about this dark sector using the neutral hydrogen as a tracer of the underlying matter distribution. Neutral hydrogen can emit or absorb photons with a wavelength of 21 cm, and this can be observed using a radio telescope. Our team is actively participating in the design, construction and pipeline for the International Telescope Bingo. Bingo will not only observe 21 cm data, but we will also look for fast radio bursts. First discovered in 2007, those high energetic pulses come from an astrophysical object. Learning more about them might help us understand this mysterious puzzle that is our cosmos. The standard cosmological model accounts, besides general relativity framework in an homogeneous and isotropic universe, to dark matter and dark energy as the cosmological constant, and it is a well-established and consistent picture of the universe today. But besides its unquestionable success in explaining the observations, the so-called Lambda CDM model faces some difficulties, especially in the dark sector. So it must be tested against different cosmological observables. The cosmic microwave background is the best dataset that we have today to perform such consistency tests. Here, in the Center for Gravity and Cosmology, we are focusing our efforts in studying both the CMB and the 21 cm signal by means of the Ali CPT experiment designed to measure the CMB in the North Hemisphere and the Bingo Telescope, which aims to measure the 21 cm signal in the post ionization epoch as an attempt to reveal the nature of the dark sector. If somebody asks how old is our universe, you will say 13.77 billion years Oh, if somebody asks you the same question the next year, you will get the same answer. The only way to get an accurate estimate of the universe age would be to put an atomic clock at the beginning of time. Today, the atomic clock is the most accurate machine has ever been made. Yangzhou University cooperates with Wuhan Institute of Physics and Mathematics to construct an atomic clock synchronization network. 
this network system connect ground based atomic clock station and satellite. It aims to study local gravitational effects, synchronize the local time, and search for new physics. In this search, we are also part of Chinese space gravitational wave detection project. Our center is still developing. We have benefited a lot from international and national collaborations by organizing conferences, symposiums, recruiting postdocs, faculty members, and international students. And we hope that more talents will join us to work together to tackle the most frontier and the fundamental problems on understanding the gravity and cosmology.